Welcome into sports on Fox 36. Could 2021 be the year for Bowling Green or Toledo? They sure hope so. And all four teams in action today trying to start the year off on the right foot. The Toledo women off to a great start on the season. Five and one looking to extend their winning streak to three. And in the first half, Molly Morgan Elliott on a hot start. She buries the three ball here and she finished with 14 points. The Rockets were trailing by one at half. In the second half, Kira Goss with the pump fake. She drives and lays it up with the left hand. She had 12 in this one. And then it was Sophia Wired in foul trouble for most of the first half. In the fourth quarter, though, she gets going. Knocks down the three ball here for three of her team high 16 points. And then the next trip down the floor. It was the Rossford grad Sammy McConowitz wide open on the wing. She hits the three ball. She had eight and the Rockets win 65 57. I would say it's just a good start. Um, going into conference play now, it matters that much more. Um, we had a week to prepare and our coaches did a really good job doing that. So we were ready and that was a good win. It is nice to know that when two of our key contributors are not having great nights, that other people can step up like Kara Goss, like Sammy McConowitz, like Molly Morgan Elliott. Uh, and even Halia Duwu uh, played big minutes for us. So, you know, I, I just was very, very impressed. And then when they did come back in, you know, when Soph did come back in, that fourth quarter, you know, you couldn't have scripted it better for her. The Toledo men on the road at Western Michigan trying to make it five wins in a row. JT Shoemate in the starting lineup, and the transfer makes an impact right away. With the steal and the finish on the other end, he had 16 points. And midway through the first half, the Rockets down three. Off the miss, Marion Jackson headed the other way. Dishes to Ryan Rollins, and he throws down the two-hand jam. The freshman led the way with 20 points, and the Rockets were up 12 at half. In the second half, they'd hold off the Broncos. Spencer Littleson in the corner with the three. Toledo wins 70-59. Obviously, we're down a man with Jameer Hill. He's out with a broken fibula and is out for four to six weeks. Uh, but I thought, you know, we had some other guys step up. You know, Ryan, Ryan Rollins played a lot of point guard tonight. Uh, Seth Miller and we had to play different lineups and that we haven't played all year and uh, still, you know, quite a clean game. We, we only had nine turnovers and several of those were late, which I'm not happy about. But at halftime, I think we had eight assists and three turnovers. So we did a good job moving the ball. We just we just just couldn't make a three tonight. We shot we shot 25 percent. Christy, that's not us. The BG men on the road at Northern Illinois and they were up five at halftime and in the second half they would continue to dominate. Justin Turner rolled his ankle in the first half, but he would return and does this. Bucket and the foul, he led the way with 20 points. And then later off the miss, Caleb Fields grabs the rebound, pushing the pace up ahead to Daquan Plowden. Day gets the bucket and the foul, he added 12 points. And Caleb Fields would get in on the scoring action here. Great defense, creates the turnover, headed the other way. And a nifty little move to finish. And the Falcons go on to win 68-42. And the Bowling Green women off to an incredible start, 6-1, and one, and taking on Ball State this evening. Early in this one, Lexi Fleming, the freshman, gets it, makes a move, and she gets the short jumper. She led the way for the Falcons with 19 points. And then later, BG up by 13. Katie Hemfling gets the ball from the wing and drills the three. Falcons win into halftime up 16. And in the second half, they just continue to roll. Even here on the press, no problem for them. Claire Gloniak finishes, and the Falcons with a big win, 89-55. And seventh-ranked BGSU Hockey with a weekend series up at Ferris State. The Falcons swept them at home a couple weeks ago. And picking up right where they left off, Brandon Cruz with the first goal of the game late in the first period. And then in the second period, game tied at one. Will Cullen with the shot, rebound, and Cameron Wright puts the Falcons back on top and then from there BG just poured on the goals now a 4-1 game in the third period BG on the power play and Connor Ford blasts one to the back of the net and Bowling Green defeats Ferris State 6-1 and finally tonight check this out Finley Oilers taking on Hillsdale game tied at 65 with two seconds left and Tommy Schmack the game winning half court shot and pandemonium in Finley Take another look at it, Schmack right at the line, nothing but net, an absolute amazing game winner for Finley.